Located just 50 miles off Florida's coast is the quiet Bahamian island of Bimini, boasting miles of pristine beaches, laying in the quiet sun, sipping on tropical drinks, and just enjoying the relaxation of this island, which echoes with silence and serenity. But this weekend, some of the most powerful offshore racing boats converge on this small island as the noise and excitement takes over the shoreline. The Offshore Power Boat Association is ready to take to the calm waters and create some heavy waves. Hey everyone and welcome to beautiful Bimini Island here in the Bahamas for the inaugural 2017 Resorts World Bimini Offshore Powerboat Grand Prix. Resorts World Bimini is playing host to the event and has brought together the glamour and top offshore powerboat racing teams in the world. You know, it seems like a dream at one point, and I guess all dreams come to reality. Just within the last couple of weeks, uh, we put this thing all together and kind of thrashed and got everybody down here. We have uh, seven bracket classes, which we control the speeds of the boats. Um, there's so many different types of boats today that you can't make them all even, so we control them on a GPS telemetry. And then you have the Super V Lite, similar to this, only with a single motor. This is a Super V. 38 to 40 foot with twin mode. And then you have the super stocks, which are the cats you see here with the outboards on them. And then the super cats, which are the bigger cats with the big inboard motors. And, uh, you know, the team seem to be excited. It's a beautiful resort, you know, right in the middle of Bimini. And uh, those of you who have never seen it, you should probably come out and check it out. It's pretty wild. Not only is the resort wild, but we're expecting some wild racing action as well. Bimini is a small island, so pit and maintenance areas are at a premium. The pit area is about a half a mile from where the boats will be launched, and heavy-duty cranes were brought in specifically for that location. Up next for race number one is Super V Light and class four, five, and six. But in the meantime, enjoy the serenity of the beach before the action takes place, as we let you know that the 2017 Resorts World Bimini Offshore Powerboat Grand Prix is presented by Resorts World Bimini, the Bahamas' newest hidden gem where luxury meets adventure. And by Geico, save 15%. And by Bahamas, it's still better in the Bahamas. to break free to Bimini. Forget everything you know about paradise and experience something so much more. Your own personal playground. Experience the side of the Bahamas you never thought possible. The unmatched luxury of the new Hilton at Resorts World Bimini. 
Are you ready to break free? It's in the heartbeat, it's in the real thing, you can make it up, it's in your soul deep, it's in the stars, the stripes, the dirt on my feet, the will of my woman and the wish and love for me, it's in the heartbeat. Geico, more than just car insurance. Welcome to the Bahamas' newest name in luxury. Welcome to Resorts World Bimini. Just 50 miles off the coast of South Florida, yet a world away from the everyday. Discover why Forbes describes us as where luxury meets adventure. Experience miles of white sand beaches, stunning infinity pools, and world-class amenities including the largest marina in the Bahamas, all starting from just $209 per night. And now when you stay two nights or more between Sunday and Thursday, you'll also receive a $100 resort credit. Visit rwbimini.com to book today. Last year we ended up with the World Championship in OPA in Inglewood, Florida, so that was a great way to end the year. So we're looking forward to continuing that trend this year. There's a bunch of boats in our class in this race we've never raced against, so it's kind of a, we're not sure how that's going to play out. They could lap us, we could lap them, it could be neck and neck, it should be very, very exciting. We went out and checked out the waters, it's crystal blue, it just got a little hop to the water. It's going to be a magnificent race, got to go around a couple of uh, islands a little bit. From what we can tell from the beach so far, it looks like a pretty fast water here and it's exciting for us. This boat likes flat, fast water. Um, we're doing pretty good at this kind of water conditions. Pretty tight this year. We got a couple of weeks in between every race, so this is going to separate the men from the boys this year. Not only you got to be fast, you got to be fast fixing these things after we break them. Well, there you have it. Drive them fast and fix them fast. It sounds like these drivers are ready for the unknowns of this inaugural event. Welcome back to the 2017 Resorts World Bimini Offshore Powerboat Grand Prix. There's a lot of work that goes into getting these racing machines ready for a race. The boats are staged at the docks of Resort World, and once they get started, they have to head all the way to the other side of the island where the course is set up. Let's take a look at the race course here in Bimini. Three and a half miles, they start with a long run up to turn one and two, a back straightaway heading towards a right hand dog leg at turn three, then they're into turn four, five, and six with a run up back to the start finish line. Super V Light in class four will run 11 laps, while class five and six will run nine laps. As the boats make their way to the race course, let's take a look at some critical technology that levels the playing field. My main objective and point in my position here is to keep everybody legal. All the class one to class seven boats have a maximum speed they can travel. So if they go over their speed by one one hundredth of a mile an hour in a three second duration, they will be disqualified. How I'm able to tell this is with a GPS unit. The system that we use goes ahead and records all the information onto a flashcard. 
We take the data from the flashcard after the race, we go ahead and download into the custom software that we developed together, and that's how we determine what these guys did out there. I've built into this thing that you cannot defeat it. So you have to think like a criminal to try to cheat it. Well, that's why I worked in conjunction with this company, that I can't cheat it, no one else can cheat it, and if you do, it won't allow you to. So that's why they call me the enforcer. The boats are milling, getting ready for their start, so let's take a look at the lineup. In Super V Light, it's Phantom with Mark Neiman and Tom Maddalena. In Class 4, it's Kinetic Animation with Chris Economides and Ryan Beckley. Saris Racing with Johnny and Jason Saris. And Nick's Creative Marine with Scott Porta and Nick Scalafidi. In Class 5, is Specialized with Mark Gallagher and Michael Wood. Was Up 2 with Nick and Anthony Smith. Ruffster with Ed and Ken Salamone. In Class 6, it's Liquid Courage with Chris Barrett and David DeFrederico. There will be two separate starts in this race. First, we'll have our v Light and our Class 4 boats. Then we'll have Class 5 and 6 in their own start. The boats are fighting for their own position where they want to be for the start. And we have a green flag. We are underway with race number one as we take a look at Phantom with Mark Neiman on the wheel and Tom Madalena on the throttles. And it looks like Nick's Creative Reed out to an early lead in Class 4. And we look at our Super V light boat. This is the only boat on the race course right now that is not bracketed by a speed limit. The other classes, as the Enforcer outlined, all have a speed limit as the number 441 Saris Racing moves into the lead in Class 4. The Class 4 boats have a maximum speed of 85 miles an hour as we watch Phantom making their way around turn 4, 5, and 6. And we have our start right now in our Class 5 and Class 6 boats. Off to an early jump is Ruffster, followed by Was Up 2. Class 5 has a speed limit of 75 miles an hour and a 30-foot maximum length. And in Class 6, the speed limit is 70 miles an hour. Also a single engine. And they have a 26-foot length as we look at Phantom Racing on the back straightaway, heading towards Turn 3. Getting the boat a little bit loose. Couple bumps out there. You see him standing up on his tail. We look at our leader in Class 4. That's Johnny and Jason Saris, along with Vern French as the navigator. As we take a look at our leader in Class 4, they've got a battle with Was Up, but out front is Ruffster with EJ and Ken Salamone. Nick and Anthony Smith running in second place. Back to our leader in V-Light. Mark Neiman goes over a bump and stands it up on its tail. Nice recovery. Running it loose here in Bimini. We'll be back with more of the 2017 Resorts World Bimini Offshore Powerboat Grand Prix right after this. Some things you have to see to believe. The color of our shimmering waters. The beauty of our swaying palms. And the magic of a people and a place like nowhere else on earth. Behold, the islands of the Bahamas. Welcome to the Bahamas' newest name in luxury. Welcome to Resorts World Bimini. Just 50 miles off the coast of South Florida, yet a world away from the everyday. Discover why Forbes describes us as where luxury meets adventure. Experience miles of white sand beaches, stunning infinity pools, and world-class amenities, including the largest marina in the Bahamas, all starting from just $209 per night. And now when you stay two nights or more between Sunday and Thursday, you'll also receive a $100 resort credit. Visit rwbimini.com to book today. the unexplained events. The coincidences that happen in our lives. A moment in time where we actually connect to the matrix of everything. That is serendipity. With over 25 years of hard work, devotion, and innovation, MTI continues to bring radical new ideas while shaping the future of offshore power boating. Each boat is custom built. You define how the boat fits your lifestyle with nearly endless options and possibilities. 
A patented hull design offers a ride unlike anything else in the V-Bottom world. To learn more about the V-Bottom series, log on to marinetechnologyinc.com. Welcome back to the 2017 Resorts World Bimini Offshore Powerboat Grand Prix. When it came to picking a unique location to start the racing season, OPA couldn't have found a better place than Bimini Island in the Bahamas. The water that surrounds the island is perfect for any type of water sports activity, and the Resorts World venue is the perfect host. The tremendous sites we get to go to, like uh, Bimini here, this is, this is off the hook. The, the site's great, the water of course is beautiful. First time been here to Bimini, to this hotel, they spent a billion dollars here. It's incredible. The most perfect venue that I've raced at. This is really wonderful. We already went out and caught a dolphin this morning. Um, the, the seas are beautiful. It's a, the perfect island. It is by far the most beautiful race we've ever been to. I mean, he's been racing for, since 1982, and I'm sure he agrees with me. They're just, we've never seen anything like it. This is one of my bucket list races. I always wanted to do a race in the Bohemian Islands. The water looks like it's in a magazine. It's awesome. All I can tell you so far, it is freaking awesome. This is, uh, I'm overwhelmed. Looks like the OPA put together a fantastic course for us to race on. We're so excited to be hosting our very first offshore powerboat race. Uh, what can I say? The, the fastest and meanest boats in the world going up to 100 miles per hour are racing right here across the beautiful waters of Bimini. And uh, it just doesn't get any better than that. We're just so excited to be able to host them and hopefully this will be the beginning of a, a, of a long relationship with the powerboat community. We, we hope that this goes really, really well. Thanks, Michelle. I'm sure we'll be back as we pick up our action in our Class 5 race. Right now, Ruffster continues to lead, but now it's Specialized in second place. Specialized comes back across the wake, trying to find that inside line. Oh, they hit a big bump, put the boat up on its side. Nice recovery by Specialized, but Ruffster out front. As they're along the front straightaway, heading across the start-finish line towards turn number one. And we take a look at our leader in Class 5. Ruffster out front means they get to pick the line. They have the clean water, but specialized right on their tail. As Ruffster goes around turn one and turn two, heading towards that right-hand dogleg at turn three. And we go back to our leader in Class 4. It is number 441, Saris Racing, with Johnny and Jason Saris and Vern French. But here comes Phantom 9, Mark Neiman and Tom Madalena. They are out front in Super V Light. Now, if you're new to offshore powerboat racing, you've heard me mention two different people in each of the boats. There is a driver and a throttleman. And that's the same thing as going out and running your car with one person running the gas and the other person driving. But you're doing it on a moving surface at high speed in traffic. It takes an incredible amount of teamwork for these guys to run these boats. As we look at our leader right now in Class 5, it continues to be number 518 Ruffster. He's opened up a little bit more of a margin right now on Specialized with Mark Gallagher and Mike Wood. Now in a case of Specialized, Mark Gallagher is actually driving and throttling and Mike Wood is acting as a navigator. As the Class 5 battle now gets ready to put what's up two with Nick and Anthony Smith down a lap. They had a problem, caused them to slow down. They're back up and running. But they've got a rear view mirror full of the leaders with Ruffster and Specialized in their class. Back in Class 4, currently running in third place, Chris Economize and Ryan Beckley in Kinetic Animation. A 24-foot outboard-powered catamaran. As we take a look at our leader in Class 4, Saris Racing, number 441. Johnny and Jason Saris with Vern French as the navigator. The bracketed classes are specifically designed to allow a multitude of different types of boats to compete on a level playing field since they're bracketed by speed. As we look at our second place boat right now in Class 4, that is Nick's Creative Marine with Scott Porta and Nick Scalfiti.
In Class 6, it's Liquid Courage with Chris Barrett and David DeFrederico. Again, Class 6 is an open cockpit 26-foot boat that runs 70 miles an hour with a single engine. You can see them making their way around Turn 3, that right-hand dogleg. You gotta love racing in the beautiful waters of the Bahamas. We will be back with more coverage of the 2017 Resorts World Bimini Offshore Powerboat Grand Prix right after this. How to break free to Bimini. Forget everything you know about paradise and experience something so much more. Your own personal playground. Experience the side of the Bahamas you never thought possible. The unmatched luxury of the new Hilton at Resorts World Bimini. Are you ready to break free? It's in my heartbeat, it's in the rail thing, you can make it up, it's in your soul deep, it's in the stars, the stripes, the dirt on my feet, the wind of my woman, and I wish you love to be, it's in the heartbeat. Geico, more than just car insurance. Welcome to the Bahamas' newest name in luxury. Welcome to Resorts World Bimini. Just 50 miles off the coast of South Florida, yet a world away from the everyday. Discover why Forbes describes us as where luxury meets adventure. Experience miles of white sand beaches, stunning infinity pools, and world-class amenities including the largest marina in the Bahamas, all starting from just $209 per night. And now when you stay two nights or more between Sunday and Thursday, you'll also receive a $100 resort credit. Visit rwbimini.com to book today. The 2017 Resorts World Bimini Offshore Powerboat Grand Prix is presented by Resorts World Bimini, the Bahamas' newest name in luxury, located just 50 miles from Miami. And by Geico. Save 15%. And by Bahamas. It's still better in the Bahamas. Well, the boats are at the dock getting ready for the featured race of the day for our Class 1, Class 3, and Super Stock boats here at the 2017 Resorts World Bimini Offshore Powerboat Grand Prix. Spectators in the beach lining the shore as we continue with our V-Lights Class 4, 5, and 6 boats. Looking at our leader in the Class 4 category, that is Saris Racing. Johnny and Jason Saris with Vern French navigating. And they are out front in class four. Swinging way across. Whoa, what was going on there? What happened with was up two? They swung way across the course to the right. As we look at our leader in class four, continuing to be number 441, they have led from start to finish as they round turn four, five, and six, heading back towards the start-finish line. And that long beach straightaway towards one and two. Beautiful ride attitude on this boat. You get a chance to see how this boat's configured. If you've never seen offshore powerboat racing before, the guy in the center has his hands on the wheel. The guy on the left-hand side of the boat is controlling the throttles. And on the right-hand side of the boat, that is Vern French, the navigator, giving directions. And here's our battle for first in Class 5. On the inside is Ruster. On the outside is Specialized. Ruster by about two boat lengths on the front straightaway. And here's a closer look of Team Specialized currently running in second place. 
Mark Gallagher driving and throttling with Mike Wood as the navigator. You can see it's a little bit bumpy along the shore. This is an outboard powered V-bottom. One of the older boats in the fleet. As we look at our leader overall and the leader in V-light. Mark Neiman and Tom Maddalena in Phantom. You saw the boat get a little bit loose there again. Mark mentioned this boat's pretty quick in some calm water conditions as they make that right-hand dogleg. As they head towards turn four, five, and six on their final lap, the checkered flag is out for Phantom Nine. Mark Neiman and Tom Maddalena. And there's the checkered flag. As they make their way around the final turn, heading towards the start-finish line, the win is going to go to Super V Light Phantom 9, Mark Neiman and Tom Maddalena. And here comes our leader in Class 4, Saris racing with Johnny and Jason Saris and Vern French navigating. They will take the win in Class 4. Here comes our leader and winner in Class 5. It is Ruffster with EJ and Ken Salamone. As they take the win in Class 5. And here comes our winner in Class 6, Liquid Courage. On board with Liquid Courage. And there are our winners overall in the first race of the weekend here in Bimini. That's Mark Neiman with his hands up. As they take the win in Super V Light. Let's take a look at the results for our first race here in Bimini. Super V Light win goes to Phantom. In Class 4, it's Saris Racing, followed by Nick's Creative Marine and Kinetic Animation. In Class 5, Ruffster takes the win, followed by Specialized and Was Up 2. And in Class 6, the win goes to Liquid Courage with Chris Barrett and David DeFrederico. As AMH Construction Instigator pulls away from the dock, Let's catch up with some of the teams after race number one. There's a lot of salt in this water, so the boat was out of the water a lot. So it was like a little bit higher ride and we were hitting those waves. It was a lot more choppy than it looked when you get out there in the wash, but it was a great time. So that was really exciting. We had a really close race with Specialized uh, the entire time and it started off really well with uh, Was Up also. It was really exciting, close battle here. Literally couldn't have gone better. First place is the best you can do. Um, we had a really, really good battle with uh, Kinetic Animation. Nick's Creative a Marine put on a great show. It was an awesome time and we can't wait to come back. I mean, the clear water is definitely makes it different because you think it's all super shallow here and you don't really realize you already have like 25 feet of water, 50 foot off the beach, so it's, it's different. The race went fantastic today. We started off strong, we finished strong, came in first place, and had a great day. Don't, like, don't take it out on me because you were going a little slow. You know, I asked you to speed it up a little. Did we need to put wheels on the side of that chair? Oh, hey, 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 to break free to Bimini. Forget everything you know about paradise and experience something so much more. 
your own personal playground. Experience the side of the Bahamas you never thought possible. The unmatched luxury of the new Hilton at Resorts World Bimini. Are you ready to break free? With over 25 years of hard work, devotion, and innovation, MTI continues to bring radical new ideas while shaping the future of offshore power boating. Each boat is custom built. You define how the boat fits your lifestyle with nearly endless options and possibilities. A patented hull design offers a ride unlike anything else in the V-Bottom world. To learn more about the V-Bottom series, log on to marinetechnologyinc.com. The unexplained events. The coincidences that happen in our lives. A moment in time where we actually connect to the matrix of everything. That is serendipity. Some things you have to see to believe. The color of our shimmering waters. The beauty of our swaying palms. And the magic of a people and a place like nowhere else on earth. Behold, the islands of the Bahamas. And the racing continues as the big boats make their way to the water. Welcome back to the 2017 Resorts World Bimini Offshore Powerboat Grand Prix. Up next, Superstock Class 2 and Class 3. As we take a look at one of our Superstock boats, those are 32-foot twin outboard-powered catamarans capable of speeds upwards of 120 miles an hour. And as the boats are getting ready for the feature race, so let's take a look at that race course once again here in Bimini. Three and a half miles for a lap, long run up from the start-finish line to turn one and two, then a long back straightaway coming into a right-hand dogleg at turn three. That takes them around turn four, five, and six, and straight back to the start-finish line. Superstock Class 2 and Class 3 will all run 12 laps for a total of 42 miles here in Bimini. Let's take a look at our lineup in Superstock. In the number S1, Frank and Jimmy's propeller with Jimmy Harrison and Gary Ballou. In the number 12, Specialty Marine is David Morota and Lee Austin. In the number 55, Nick's Creative Marine is Nick Scalfini and Scott Porta. And the number 111 is Double Edge Motorsports with Tanner Lewis and Ryan Beckley. In class three, it's number V1, was up with Eddie and Anthony Smith. Number V6, strictly business with Lugia Contieri and Johnny Stanch. And number 302, Second Amendment with Carl Steger and Neil Wobie. In class two, it's the number one AMH construction instigator with Aaron Hope and Peter Meyer. That class two boat right there is a 42 foot fountain with a pair of Scorpion 750 engines in it. Was up in Strictly Business also fountains smaller boats, 525 Mercury's with Bravo drives. All of the boats in this race are canopy configured boats. That means they're all strapped in. As we look at one of our super stock boats, that's the Frank and Jimmy's entry. That is a 32 foot Doug Wright. As you look at the WSM boat, that is Double Edge Motorsports. That is a skater. As we'll have two starts again this race. Double Edge Motorsports trying to pick the lane they want. As Double Edge Motorsports WSM. And it looks like they're going to have the second lane. As they run along the beach heading towards turn one. Waiting for the green flag. On the inside lane is Nick's Creative Marine with Double Edge Motorsports Specialty Marine and Frank and Jimmy's propellers. And we have a green flag coming apart on the outside as Frank and Jimmy's propellers as they move to the lead right away. Now they're on the outside going towards turn one, but they've got at least a boat length already as they make their way along the front straightaway. On the inside is Nick's Creative Marine as we go on board with Frank and Jimmy's propellers. 
You can see how big of a margin he's opened up already even before they get to turn one. Frank and Jimmy's propellers has the outside, but it's Nick's Green and Marine coming up hard on the inside. And they make a strong move. They come up side by side as they make their way through turn one and then turn two onto the back straightaway. Nick's Creative Marine is now just ahead of Frank and Jimmy's propellers as they're on the back straight heading towards turn three. Frank and Jimmy's will have the inside lane on that right-hand dogleg as they start to drive by the number 55 of Nick's Creative Marine and go back into the lead. Back to our second start. This is our class two and our class three entries. And we have a green flag in this race. Jumping out to an early lead in the middle was was up as we go on board with AMH Construction. And you can see Second Amendment, the only Catabran in the class, as they march past AMH Instigator. But they are side by side right now with was up as they make their way towards turn one. Was up has that inside lane. Second Amendment on the outside. As we go on board Second Amendment. And they make their way around turns one and turn two, heading towards that right-hand dog leg. And you can hear that pounding of the hull on the water. It takes its toll on the boat as well as the occupants. As we look at our leader right now in Superstock, it is Jimmy Harrison and Gary Ballou and Frank and Jimmy's propellers as they make their way around turn four, five, and six. Now they're heading back towards the beach. Out front in Superstock. Whoa, gets a little bit loose. You see as that boat goes through, it's literally flying on a cushion of air. The tunnel actually packs air and acts like a wing, lets the boat carry and go over the tops of the waves. Ultimately making the boat think it's lighter than it really is. That's why they go so fast with less horsepower than a V-bottom. As Jimmy Harrison and Gary Ballou continue to lead, Nick's Creative Marine in second place. And we go back to our battle right now. Was up racing out front. Second Amendment in second place. The boat right behind them is actually the Class 2 boat, AMH Construction Instigator as they have the inside lane. And we go back on board Second Amendment. Catamaran turns totally different than a V-bottom. They have a tendency to turn much flatter. As we look at was up, he stands it up on his tail, trying to carry as much speed as he can. But again, they are speed limited classes. In Class 2, the maximum speed is 105 miles an hour. In Class 3, the maximum speed is 95 miles an hour as we go on board AMH Construction Instigator. Running a little off their normal pace. They should definitely be out ahead of the Class 3 boats. So they're having a little bit of a problem right now. As Instigator makes their way around turn one and two, they're on the back straightaway heading towards the right-hand dogleg turn three. And there's our battle for the lead. Second Amendment goes across the outside of the wake. They want the outside line as they make their way around turn four, five, and six heading back towards the beach. Second Amendment thinking they're going to carry a little bit more speed on the outside. Was up trying to take the short distance around the race course. There you see Second Amendment coming around on the outside. Was up has the inside lane as they make the final turn towards the start finish line along the front straightaway. And here comes Team Strictly Business. Very comparable boat to Was up. Currently running in third place in Class Three. Oh, an instigator is off plane in the middle of the course. We'll be back with more of the 2017 Resorts World Bimini Offshore Powerboat Grand Prix right after this. 
Welcome to the Bahamas' newest name in luxury. Welcome to Resorts World Bimini. Just 50 miles off the coast of South Florida, yet a world away from the everyday. Discover why Forbes describes us as where luxury meets adventure. Experience miles of white sand beaches, stunning infinity pools, and world-class amenities including the largest marina in the Bahamas, all starting from just $209 per night. And now when you stay two nights or more between Sunday and Thursday, you'll also receive a $100 resort credit. Visit rwbimini.com to book today. It's in the heartbeat, it's in the real thing, you can make it up, it's in your soul deep, it's in the stars, the stripes, this dirt on my feet, the way I love my woman and the way she loved for me, it's in the heartbeat. Geico, more than just car insurance. The unexplained events. The coincidences that happen in our lives. A moment in time where we actually connect to the matrix of everything. That is serendipity. Welcome back to the 2017 Resorts World Bimini Offshore Powerboat Grand Prix. And before the break, we saw that Instigator had pulled to the inside of the course. Let's go on board with them and see if we can see what happened. Clearly, they were running a little off the pace. This boat capable of speeds well into the 120 mile an hour range. As we look at the aft facing view, There they go, pulling off to the inside. Back to our leaders in class two. Was up, going around lap traffic in the Superstock class, but they still have a rear view mirror full of Second Amendment. Second Amendment liking that outside lane. As was up taking the short way around the race course. Was up with about a eight boat length lead right now over Second Amendment. Beautiful right attitude on that boat. Eddie and Anthony Smith, the father and son team, a lot of seat time in this boat. You see those little notches on the side, those are called steps. As we look at Instigator making their way back in, and a water pump caused them to actually blow a motor. Ugh. Now it's gonna be back to that hurry up and get it ready for the next race. As we look at Strictly Business, coming around Double Edge Motorsports, that's WSM Performance Parts this weekend. Ryan Beckley and Tanner Lewis. He's running a pair of 300 XS Optimax Mercury engines on that. As we take a look at Strictly Business, again, you see those little notches on the side. Those are called steps. They actually increase the efficiency of the boat anywhere from 15 to 20% over a boat that doesn't have those notches. A technology feature that allows the boat to go faster with less horsepower. Strictly business sliding sideways over the top of that wake. Again, Louie and Johnny have a lot of seat time. As we look at our leader in Superstock, Gary Ballou and Jimmy Harrison. Well out front right now in their 32-foot Doug Wright. 
Gary Ballou, one of the top throttlemen in this class anywhere in the world. As they make their way around the right-hand dogleg. And now around turn four, five, and six, heading towards the beach. You see that boat just carrying, riding just on the back end. You see all that clear underneath the boat. It actually works like a wing, creating lift. And once he apexes the turn, he actually brings the drives out to create a little bit of positive angle of attack to let the boat accelerate. But as soon as it starts running at speed, he's got to start bringing the drive back in to get the boat back to level because you don't want it to blow over backwards. As we look at our second place boat, that was Nick's Creative Marine. With Nick Scafidi and Scott Porta as we go back to Frank and Jimmy's propellers. Watch them go around this turn. They get the drives in. That makes it break water right at the number, tightens the boat up so it carves around the turn. As soon as he apexes the turn, he starts bringing the drives out. You see the rooster tail go up and the boat accelerates. We watch Nick's Creative Marine do the same thing. They get the boat level. You don't want to over trim it. As soon as it starts getting fast, you start bringing the drive in. Oh, they hit a bump and almost corkscrewed the boat. Got it up on its side. Nice recovery by Nick Scafidi and Scott Porta. As we go back to our second place boat right now in class three, second amendment with Carl Steger and Neil Wobey. And they're still trying to run down was up with Ed and Anthony Smith. There you see the margin as they come up to the right hand dog leg at turn three. Second amendment goes through the wake. You see the boat kind of scoot on its tail there as they go across the wake and we go on board second amendment and see what line they pick as they go around turn four, five and six. They decide to take that inside lane As they head back across the way to the other side, Was Up is able to carry a little bit more speed and open up their margin. At turn four, five, and six as they head towards the beach. Second Amendment coming around on the outside. Carrying speed, there you see him closing the gap. As Was Up heads towards the start finish line along the beach on that long front straightaway heading towards turn one. And here comes Second Amendment. Was up, slows down, and Second Amendment blows by. Second Amendment takes advantage, and they move into the lead in Class 3. We'll be back with more racing action here at the 2017 Resorts World Femini Offshore Powerboat Grand Prix right after this. Some things you have to see to believe. The color of our shimmering waters. The beauty of our swaying palms. And the magic of a people and a place like nowhere else on earth. Behold, the islands of the Bahamas. With over 25 years of hard work, devotion, and innovation, MTI continues to bring radical new ideas while shaping the future of offshore power boating. Each boat is custom built. You define how the boat fits your lifestyle with nearly endless options and possibilities. A patented hull design offers a ride unlike anything else in the V-Bottom world. To learn more about the V-Bottom series, log on to marinetechnologyinc.com. How to break free to Bimini. Forget everything you know about paradise and experience something so much more. Your own personal playground. Experience the side of the Bahamas you never thought possible. The unmatched luxury of the new Hilton at Resorts World Bimini. Are you ready to break free? Welcome back to the 2017 Resorts World Bimini Offshore Powerboat Grand Prix presented by Resorts World Bimini, the Bahamas' newest hidden gym where luxury meets adventure. Geico, save 15%. And by Bahamas. It's still better in the Bahamas. There are so many cool things to see and explore on Bimini Island, and the atmosphere surrounding the powerboat race is awesome. 
Bimini is a boater's paradise and it's only 50 miles away from Miami. We can't wait to come back here and race again. As we make our way back out to the race course, just before the break we saw was up had a problem, and there they are off plane. We see them coming by in the lead as they round turn six, second amendment coming up hard on the outside, but was up has a problem. They slow down and second amendment drives by on the outside to move into the lead. Second Amendment coming up on traffic from the Superstock class as they are now out front in class three. Carl Steger and Neil Wobie. And we take a look at Strictly Business. They've now moved into second place with the retirement of Was Up. I love the right attitude on that boat. Perfect. Breaking the water just forward of that front step as they make their way towards turn one and two, currently running in second place in class three. Back to our battle in Superstock. Out front is Frank and Jimmy's propellers coming up hard on the outside. That's second amendment. Different race, but trying to get past Frank and Jimmy's. As Frank and Jimmy's now comes across towards the start finish line on the beach side of the race course. The Second Amendment loosening the boat up, starts to fly the bow just a little bit. He's got to set the nose back down. Taking a look at Specialty Marine with Damon Morota and Lee Austin. Currently running in third place in Superstock. Notice a slightly different canopy configuration in that boat. As we look at WSM Double Edge Motorsports with Tanner Lewis and Ryan Beckley. As they come up to the right-hand dog leg, and coming up on their inside is Strictly Business. Frank and Jimmy's on the inside, Second Amendment trying to get around them on the outside, and it looks like they're gonna come up alongside. They found some speed as they come towards the start-finish line. The checkered flag is out. Second Amendment is gonna take the win in class three as they drive by Frank and Jimmy's. But Frank and Jimmy's S1 with Jimmy Harrison and Gary Ballou, they will take the win in Superstock. In second place in class three is Strictly Business. Lou Giancontari and Johnny Stanch as they come by taking second place. Here comes third place in Superstock, Specialty Marine Center. Damon Morota and Lee Austin. And right behind him is WSM Double Edge Motorsports with Tanner Lewis and Ryan Beckley. And they will come in fourth in Superstock. As we wind up a spectacular weekend of racing here in Bimini. And there is our winner in Superstock. Jimmy Harrison and Gary Ballou in the S1 Frank and Jimmy's propellers. As we look at our winner in class three, let's take a look at the final results in Superstock. The win goes to Frank and Jimmy's propellers, second place to Nick's Creative Marine, followed by Specialty Marine and Double Edge Motorsports. In Class 2, it's AMH Construction Instigator. And in Class 3, it's Second Amendment, followed by Strictly Business and Was Up Racing. As we look at our winner in Class 3, let's catch up with the teams from the second race. Today was great. Water was beautiful. It was a little bit rough, which is great. Makes everything interesting. They had the little right hook they added into the course. Uh, after turn two, uh, which uh, got a little tight. We came out in front, we really hoped for that, but you know, it's boat racing, anything could have happened. We just, uh, we ended up with a great day. You get further out, it got a little bumpy and in the corners, it got a little choppy. 
So it, it got our attention, but it was good because that's racing and and it kind of did made it an equalizer, you know. And there's there was slicing and dicing. It was fun. We had some guys that were really close to us, you know. It wasn't an easy win. We were pushed by Scott Porte and Nick uh, from Nick's Marine, and they kept us honest the whole way around, you know. We, we, we couldn't get away from them, and we'd like to thank everybody that showed up in our class because in our class, anybody can win it, and uh, that's what makes it so much fun. And um, another thing is I don't want to leave the Bahamas. It's, it's, uh, it's been a, like a fantastic week here, and uh, we hope that a lot of people come to watch the race at the next venue that we'll have here the next race. We'd like to thank everyone involved in putting this great event together. For the racing teams, the production crew, and Resource World Bimini, thanks for watching the 2017 Resource World Bimini Offshore Powerboat Grand Prix. Welcome to the Bahamas' newest name in luxury. Welcome to Resorts World Bimini. Just 50 miles off the coast of South Florida, yet a world away from the everyday. Discover why Forbes describes us as where luxury meets adventure. Experience miles of white sand beaches, stunning infinity pools, and world-class amenities including the largest marina in the Bahamas, all starting from just $209 per night. And now when you stay two nights or more between Sunday and Thursday, you'll also receive a $100 resort credit. Visit rwbimini.com to book today.